Hello, Ana Beatriz. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Good. What did you do today? Oh, um, in my house. Relax. In your house? I had a vacation in my oh, work. Oh, nice. Okay. This is good. Yeah. Only today. The vacation? Only today. Um no, este I finished my vacation uh, el 30. Ah, yes. On Thursday, the 30th. Uh -huh. On Thursday, yeah. So. Okay. Ah, okay. So the vacation only four days. No. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ah, the two weeks. Uh-huh. Two weeks. Ah, this is good, Bear. <laughs> Sleeping, watching Netflix. Yeah. Eating. Eating. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. That's good. And Anna, did you finish the homework yesterday? The first lesson, uh, not finish. No, not the lesson, but the the homework from yesterday. The homework was one point four. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Remember that the homework yesterday was the listening, the knowledge check that you, oh, yeah. and then you answer. Yes, this part, did you complete the homework? Voy a revisar. Okay. Adela, did you finish the homework? 1.4. Sí. 1.4, yes. Listen, listening, yeah. Yes, yes. And you, Wendy, did you do the homework? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Yes, I did. Remember, yes, I did. Yes, I? Did. V I D. Correct, Wendy. Yes, I did. Yes, uh, okay. ¿Qué significa? Is yes. Uh, okay, thank you. It's for the question. In the question, when you hear, did you? The answer, yes, I did. The, uh, okay, I'm not, are you? I'm not listening. Uh -huh. The question, are you? The answer, yes, yes, I am. Sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. Okay, good. Well, I'm good, I'm glad. Uh, do you have any questions for the homework? No. No, the homework is okay. Yes, it's okay the homework? For me, yes. Okay, good. Excellent, Wendy. Okay, then let's continue. Today we are going to look at the future. Okay. Do you remember the future? Going to. Excellent. That's right. We're going to. So in the future, we use be plus going to, right? Okay. So, for example, we say, I am going to work. Maybe, I guess, I'm going to work tomorrow. This is the future. Okay. Now, today we're going to learn the pronunciation to make it smaller. Many times the Americans say, I'm gonna. No, I am going to. They, you are going to hear, ah, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna work. And this is the idea, I'm going to. But today, good evening. Good evening, Eric. Today we're going to listen and watch the video for pronunciation 
and usage of the future, okay? So let's listen and watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Uh, so if you listen, the idea is not going to. The pronunciation is gonna, right? This is the reduction. Are you going to have a party? Are you? Uh, no, I'm going to go out with my friends. This is the idea of the production. You can pronounce the two forms. The correct form is going to, but many times, many Americans pronounce gonna. It's cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do today. We're going to practice with our partner, the future, okay? You can pronounce the two forms. You can pronounce going to, or you can pronounce gonna. If you like going to, use going to. If you like gonna, use gonna, okay? Es, es, eh, es verdad que gonna es informar, ¿verdad? Correct. Uh, Correct. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, with our partners, we're going to talk about Saturday and Sunday. So, as an example, I asked my partner, okay? How do I ask my partner the question? Okay. How can I make the question? In the chat. How can I make the question for the future? Look in the chat, read the questions. How do we make the questions in the future? So let's practice the question. Question number one, how do we ask? Ruth, how do we ask question number one? Ruth, how do we ask?
Where are you going to do um, the, the move it? No, it's for the day. For example, Ruth, what are you going to do on Saturday? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do on Sunday? Eso solo se utiliza mm -hmm. para días de semana. Oh. No, you can say, what are you going to do next week? What are you going to do for Christmas? For your birthday? It's for the future. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Ruth, ask me the question. Where are you going to Saturday and the Friday on the Friday? Oh, so Ruth, remember, what are you going to? What are you going Sorry. to? Sorry. It's okay. Practice again, Ruth. Try again. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ruth. Let's go. Ruth, ask the question. Are you going to buy, buy a new car? Correct. Very good, Ruth. Very correct. And my answer is no, I am not going to. Or my answer is yes, I am going to. We can ask many different questions, like the example of the roof. Okay. Where are you going to? Are you going to? Who are you going to? Okay. We can ask all many different questions. So with our partners, we are going to practice. If you like going to, continue going to. If you like Ghana, use Ghana. So for example, I tell Eric, Eric, what are you gonna do on Saturday? Again? What are you gonna do on Saturday? Um, I gonna do uh, play football, soccer. Good, soccer. okay, but remember, no do. Because you use play, I'm I'm gonna. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, I gonna play soccer. Correct. And then I continue the question, Eric. Where, where are you gonna play soccer? Oh, I gonna, I gonna play soccer, uh, in the field, or in the park. Good. So remember the two forms. Correct. Gonna are going to, the two forms, correct. Cool. It's okay? Yeah, I understand. No, no. Any questions? Question? No, I don't have questions. No, gracias. No, I don't have the... Jocelyn, Alexander. No, teacher. No? Okay. No, teacher. Okay. We practice with the partners. With our partners, we practice questions for the future. Going to. Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. 
Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, 4th Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. All right, you had a question, Anna? Yes. Uh, el, el uso del do in the, 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 the question, mm -hmm. what are you going to do on Sunday? That uh, el, el uso del do in esa in esa in esa pregunta en específico. Solamente uh -huh. nos vamos a referir a lo que es una fecha en específico, teacher. No, el, el, no. es hacer. O sea, ese ya es el que verbo. Ya sé, ese no. sería el, el verbo. Exacto. No está como un auxiliar. No. Ya, ah. el are, el are es el auxiliar. Que... What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. La, no estructura, la estructura va a ser are going to y después va a ir el verbo are you going to y puede cambiar eat 
do, watch, play, cualquier acción que quieren hablar del futuro. Siempre va a llevar el are, luego va a llevar el going to. Y eh, va a llevar el are por el momento porque estamos usando el you. Entonces, what are uh -huh. you? Por eso es, usamos el are. Y si cambiaría, por ejemplo, a third person, sería is. Correct. Uh -huh. What is? Ajá. Uh -huh. What is? Going to. You, you, porque está el you en primera persona. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, el, el you es are you. Y el he y are el you. is she. Is he. He. Uh -huh. Quiero ver si entendí. Sería what is he going Correct. to? Correct. Uh -huh. Or what is she? Or what is it? Correct. Es para lugar. Exactly. Oh, okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, again. Teacher and your speakers. I, okay, I said, good. Let's try some examples. Give me some examples. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What are some examples? What are you going to eat? Okay, good. This is a good question. What are you going to eat? And the answer? What can we say? What is the answer? Are you going to eat okay. hamburger? Are you going to eat pizza? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to. Good. Okay. So, good. This is one example. Give me another example. Teacher, I have a, a doubt. Okay. Uh, I can use uh, who are who are who are you yeah who are you gonna continue yeah. oh, cool. um, who are you gonna play with your friends the next weekend so so who are you gonna play who are you gonna yes. next You're weekend gonna play? Next ah. weekend with. Ah, okay, okay. So who are you gonna play next weekend with? Yes. Or also who are you going to play with? It's okay. Who are you gonna play with? Oh cool. Mm -hmm. And then the time. So Eric, hey, who are you going to play soccer with next weekend? Who are you going to play a uh, Nintendo with next weekend or on on Saturday. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay. Alguien que no le quedó bien, que no le quedó claro. No. 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 Ok. Seguro, acuérdense, la única forma de ayudarles es cuando ustedes no tienen que eh, Por ejemplo, este, yes, o sea, por ejemplo, me preguntan, ¿qué vas a hacer el fin de semana? Y yo pongo, uh, I am going 
this, this sentry idea o tiene que ser siempre tú? Siempre. I'm tú. going to. Y, el, y después la acción. I'm going to. Y después, ¿qué vas a hacer? I am going to watch TV. I am going uh -huh. to read a book. I am going to visit my grandmother. Mm -hmm. y por obligación, tiene que ir el to. Are you oh. going to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. No hay ninguna otra pregunta. Okay, let's continue. Oh. Yes. Yes. Alguien iba a decir algo? No, te he todo está bien. Okay, Vanessa. All right, perfect. Let's continue then. Now we're going to go to the next topic. The next topic is here. 1.8. 1.8 is vocabulary. The vocabulary for the typical holidays in the US. Here we're going to learn some holidays in the US. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day. January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So there we have many holidays. First, let's look at holidays. Okay. Teacher, what is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is, uh, is the day that we in, not exist in El Salvador. It's the day. Oh. Be, is the day before the day before Black Friday? Oh, so in El Salvador, Black Friday, and the day before Black Friday is Thanksgiving. Ah, Acción de Gracias, le llaman ellos. Mm -hmm. Acción de Gracias. Ah, gracias. And the other holidays are okay? Yes? Okay. So now we're going to practice with the partners what we're going to do in the holidays. For example, January 1st, Valentine's Day, Independence Day. Okay. What are you going to do? So we ask the partner, or we tell the partner, okay? I am going to, and then, for example, for Christmas. For Christmas, what are you going to do for Christmas? I am going, I am going to cook turkey with my mom. Excellent, Crisia, good answer, okay? Moises, what are you going to do for Christmas? I'm going to I'm going to visit my grandmother. Excellent. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Come 
I going to go diner, a restaurant with my okay. husband. Good. I'm going to go to dinner. To dinner. dinner. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, what are you going to do for Independence Day? I am going to uh, go to the field. <laughs> Okay. How do you say the feeling? Excellent. How do you say this feeling in English? Quien sabe? How do you say this feeling in English? How do you say this feeling in English? Paradise. Good, Sarai. Parade. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. ¿Y cómo es que Sarai sabía? ¿Cómo que conocía Saraí la palabra? Wendy. ¿Cómo Saraí conocía la palabra? She learned vocabulary. No, Wendy. No, eh, No, ella está poniendo atención al chat y yo le estoy poniendo las respuestas. Ponga uh, chat. Okay. <laughs> okay. There in the chat. Yes. Parade. Parade. Okay. Good. Entonces, las preguntas, las respuestas, is the same, right? All of the answers are the same. It's only we put, I am going to, and then your answer. For example, I am going to, and then you can use go, eat. Mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Important is that you use the words correctly. Is always going to and then the actions. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Sergio. Eh, ahora ya estamos aprendiendo el going to, uh -huh. pero ¿cuándo se utiliza el going to be? Lo mismo que el going to go, cuando se va a ser. Mm, okay. Él va a ser un hombre o ella va a ser eh, una profesional. She's going to be a profesional. She's going to be a doctor. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Lo mismo, el going to siempre es lo mismo. El futuro Lo único que cambia es cuál acción. Ok. Uh -huh. Depende del contexto. ¿eh? Ajá. Eh, so, solo es del, depende del verbo que le pongas. Pero todo lo mismo. Va o voy. Va a ser. Va a ir. Va a estudiar. Va, es el going to. Sí, sure. uh -huh. en, el, en el caso del go, eh, he, she, it, se modifica al igual que sería guy. Este, perdón. Sí, de verdad, se modificaría. Por, dame el ejemplo. El verbo. Para estar seguro de que te entiendo bien. Um, where she to go is. Uh, no, no, no se modifica de esa forma. Ya te entendí. Te lo voy a poner de la forma que sí se modifica. Solo se modifica el verbo be. Es he is, she is, it is, y después going to. ¿Es ok, Ana Beatriz? Yeah, ok. Ok, thank you. Now, let's continue. Now we're going to see the questions with going to. Now we're going to learn how to make questions using wh questions with going to hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer wh questions using be going to additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting 
Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. Okay. You see, how do we make the questions? Yes, WH. What? Where? How? Who? And then the same. Going to. Are you going to? Is he going to? Or, and then the action. This is the. And teacher. Script. Yes. And I can change the subject. For example, uh, is she going to go to the park? For example, right? Correct, Eric. This is the correct way. So is she going to go to the park? Or question, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct, Eric. Okay. So for example, Eric, here, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? We can change what is she going to do for Valentine's Day? What is he going to do for Valentine's Day? Oh, I am going. Correct, Anna. I am going for you. Uh -huh. But for he uh -huh. and she, the answer, he is yes. going to. It should be. He is going to. Let's look at more information how to make the questions. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to... There is the structure right here. WH, verb to be, subject, going to, the verb, and the complement. Okay. Si tienen cuaderno, sería buen momento de copiarlo para que se lo vaya dando. Follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb, plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now is your turn to practice. Okay. You see the example, the structure is the same. WH, verb to be, subject, going to, the verb and the complement. What are you going to? And then the action. 
what is she going to, and then the action. Yes? Uh, what is the meaning of this sentence? Which sentence? I don't understand. The, the, and, uh, don't understand. Who are you going to get there? Oh, how? The, the, the one with how? Okay. Uh, yeah, how? Yeah. Okay. But uh, I know that get uh, has a more sub. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Tiene un montón de significado. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé cómo sería. Eh, Excelente. Es significado. Let's look in the, the example for the answers. How are you going to get there? Ah, the answer? We're going to drive. We're not going to take the bus. We're going to go in Uber. We're going to take a taxi. Eric, what is how are you going to get there? I'm going to get there in, in, in motorcycle. Correct. This is the idea. How is the transportation? Very good, Eric. This is how is the form of the transportation. Thank you. You're welcome. Y share. Yes. Eh, en el caso para las terceras personas, mm -hmm. ¿cómo, ¿cómo se usaría? ¿Se sustituiría el are por el is o, y el pronombre? Correct. Yes, Claudia. Are. Mm -hmm is so how is eric going to get there how is he going to get there how mm -hmm. is she going to uh going to get there okay thank you you're welcome claudia any other questions no no more questions no question. Okay. All right. So in this moment, we are going to practice a little bit. Okay. We're going to practice the same. Make questions. We make four different questions. Remember, WH. What is the WH? Okay. What? Where? How? Okay. So we are going to make four questions with what, how, where, and who. I show you the screen one more time. Remember, this is 1.10, 1.10. Here we have one question, what? One question, where? One question, how? And one question, who? It's okay. 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 Sorry, no entendí. El, Ruth. Sí. Okay, Ruth. Decime qué 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 entendiste. Eh, con las tres preguntas que están ahí. Uh -huh. Con las cuatro. Las cuatro. Ah, con las cuatro. Vamos uh -huh. a en grupo. Uh, correct. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make four questions, four answers. Four questions, four answers. Okay. Yes? Cuatro preguntas y cuatro preguntas. Exactly. Very good.
Okay. It's okay? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. No, Joseph. Ok. Vale. Acuérdense que ustedes están en silencio y el que no habla y no dice, yo entiendo que sí. Por ejemplo, yo vi a Adele solo por casualidad, la, la boca, aunque micrófono en silencio, no, no, no me quedó claro. Pero no dijo nada y pregunté tres veces. Que no terminamos las preguntas. No, eso era, quería más tiempo. Adel, dame el ejemplo. A ver si lo hicieron bien. Go ahead, Adel. Yo solo dos hice. It's okay. okay uh, what are you going to for Christmas Day? No, Adel. Uh, no, okay. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué es lo que te hizo falta? Hacerlo un poquito más despacio y a ver si alguien puede identificar qué le hizo falta a Adel. Coge a Adel. Do. Do. Ajá. What are you ah. going to do for Christmas Day? Exactly, Adel. Very good. Ok. Ese okay. es uno. And the other example? Um, we're going to go. Ok. Um, y ahí le pueden indicar el tiempo 
o el día si ustedes quieren. Si no, ahí lo dejan. Where are you going to go on Saturday? Where are you going to go for your birthday? Where are you going to go on Thanksgiving? Okay. Crisia, give me some examples. Uh, where are you going to go? I am going to go to church at night. Good. I am going to go to church. Good. To church. Good, Crisia. Vanessa, give me an example. Bueno, la primera tengo una, no sé. What are you going to do on weekend? I am going to go. The, ahí, no sé si me faltó algo más. Go crush. De iglesia, crush. De, decí la respuesta, Vane. A ver si te hizo falta. I am, go, I am going to go. Crush. Church. I am church. going to go. I am uh -huh. to go to church. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. oh, sin el go. I am going to go. I am going to go. To church. To church. Ah, vuelve a, vuelve a repetir tú. El tú. Sí. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Elmer, give me an example. Um, the four question. Uh, who is going to be there in Christmas? My family are going to be there. So, so Elmer, good. The question correct. The answer, my family is going to be there. My family. Elmer, it's okay? Okay. Okay, okay good. And one more example, Claudia Claudia Saravia. Saravia, sorry, I saw it's Claudia Saravia. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Um, how are you going to celebrate Valentine's Day? I am going to invite my husband at a restaurant. Very good is correct, the question and the answer. Very good, okay. It's okay, any questions? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Now we are going to practice. We are going to try here. Now 1.11. Let's complete together. Here is the example, okay, the example. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? We have the verb and we need to put the verb in the correct form. Here is the verb spend and we put correctly. To spend, going to spend, okay? So let's try conversation one here. Who are you? The verb is invite to Thanksgiving dinner. Who are you going to invite? Invite. Invite. Hey, si tienen la compu abierta y lo pueden ir haciendo, háganlo para que ya no tengan la tarea. 1.11. 1.11. Okay. You see? And this is the correct way. Going to invite. Okay. What about this one? I'm ask my family and some good friends. I'm, I'm going, going to ask. Going to ask. Okay, good. Good. Conversation two. What are you going to do? Going to do. Going to do for Halloween. Good. Good. B. I don't know. I'm not, not, not to do. Not going to do. Not going to do. To do anything to special. To do. To do anything special. Very good. Conversation three. How are your parents? 
going to celebrate. Okay, going to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Good. They're going, going to go. go. Good. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. Good. Number four. What is your sister do for her birthday? Going to do for her birthday. Going to do. And, and the last one, her boyfriend? He is going to take. Ah, is. One boyfriend, uh huh. Mm -hmm. going, going to. To take. To take. Excellent. All of the answers are correct. All of the answers are correct. You see? Okay. So, what is the important? The important is always, always for the future, going to. Going to is obligation. The difference are you, I am, is he, he is, they are. All is okay, but going to is obligation. Always going to. This part always is an obligation. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Now, tomorrow we are going to learn vocabulary to describe special occasions. Vocabulary for discussing to celebrate special occasions, okay? Here we have a lot of different vocabulary and a lot of different special occasions. Hi, everyone. In this class, today we are going to watch the video and tomorrow we are going to practice. But in this moment, let's watch the video for vocabulary. As you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. A family family. Okay. So first, do you understand the holidays, the special occasions? It's okay. Anniversary, wedding, graduation, Father's Day, and Mother's Day? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Do you understand the vocabulary? for the activities, send cards, give presents. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's all the vocabulary is okay? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Tomorrow we are going to continue and we are going to practice again, going to, remember, going to obligation for future, going to obligation for future. Okay? okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming to class. And tomorrow we practice more and finish unit one. Tomorrow we finish unit one. Okay. 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 Good. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night.